back everyone, Energy Fabricator here. I was down at the scrapyard this morning. I saw this old metal box sitting under a pile of scrap and as soon as I saw it I realised that I had to get to it and pull it out and see what was inside. Um, I could only pretty much see this corner here poking out under a pile of scrap and as soon as I saw all of these cables poking out um, I realised that there must be some good stuff in there. So we pulled it out and I took it home and um, I'm going to strip out what I can and do a bit of a tear down and then we'll have a look at all of the parts so let's get into it. So this is what was inside as you can see it's fully populated and it's all clean and dry none of it's rusted out because it was sitting upside down uh, which was fairly lucky as you can see we've got Full bridge rectifier here, we've got 624 volt DIN rail mounted relays there, we've got some terminals here, uh, we've got some contactors here, and an auxiliary which seems to be damaged so I might throw that out. Uh, we've got some more terminal blocks here, DIN rail mounted of course. Uh, we've got an EMI filter, a couple of current transformers, over here I've got some panel mount fuse holders and there's some other little bits and pieces as well so let's strip it all down take out all the stuff that we want to keep and we'll have a closer look at all the parts when we're done Well, it took about half an hour to strip everything out of that electrical distribution panel another half an hour to clean everything up and I've ended up with a whole bunch of DIN rail mounted components here we've got these terminal blocks here six relays five contactor blocks here pretty high powered ones ABB and I also managed to score another EMI filter I've got a fan cover here from RS Components and a couple of these strips of terminal blocks. So I've got two of those strips there. Got myself a couple of capacitors, small capacitors, a 
four wave bridge rectifier. Um, we've got some more of these little labels here for labeling our wiring. I've got four of these panel mount fuse holders and a couple of these um, 50 amp current transformers. So that was a pretty good little score and I'm pretty sure that all of that will be useful at some point in time. The other thing I came across was another electrical distribution box but this one was the total opposite. It had a whole bunch of low voltage high current components in it. As you can see here we've got some male and female connectors. These are rated to about 100 amps at least and I've got a couple of these fuses here and if we can zoom into that they are A3 T300 300 volt AC fuses and they're rated to I think it was 160 volts we can zoom in on that again keeps moving on us there we go 160 volts DC or 300 volts AC uh, so two of those and I also managed to score two of these assemblies here now this is actually a low voltage high current contactor I can't remember how many amps but again somewhere in around 100 amps you can see the um, thickness of the terminals there and the tips are actually silver alloy tips so some pretty high current stuff I mean this gauge of wire is pretty heavy duty there's also a um, shunt here which is that little assembly there starting from that leg there's your shunt in the other section here and these are 100 amp thermo volt AB I think they were let's have a look here flip this other one over we can zoom in on that yeah, 100 amp 60 millivolt thermo volt AB shunts and you can see it came in power comes in by this terminal into the contactor at the other side over through this shunt into this circuit breaker here and then out through this cable mounted to a panel and then the other mating uh, female terminal here and they're just bolted connections so all this stuff's 100 amps and above I actually got two of those assemblies so I was pretty happy with that uh, I also managed to get a little braided strap there um, so that's pretty much it in the way of salvaging I was at the Trash and Treasure last weekend and I managed to find myself a 5 kilowatt panel meter an analog one class 1.5 um, still got the wiring diagram on the back pretty simple wire it up for voltage and for current and you get the kilowatt reading uh, that'll come in handy with the black box we'll use that separately it won't be mounted in the black box because we're not having meters due to the fact that the um, impulse currents that I'll be working with will probably destroy the coil inside the meters so there'll be no meters in the box I've said that before uh, I also found a 10 amp AC meter here and that again internally shunted so you can see it's pretty heavy and we've got the bigger terminals on the back which is indicative of a an internally shunted um, amp meter and I also found these sheet metal cutters here pretty old school uh, heavy duty you can tell that they've just replaced the uh, the pin in the center or the bolt with a with an 8.8 .8 bolt 
I can get in there. And they just put a nylon lock nut there. But it works fine. And I've cleaned it up and gave it a coat of oil. And there's nothing wrong with them. So I'm pretty happy with that. Got that for a dollar. And another thing I couldn't walk past for a dollar was these little pliers here. Now the good thing about these is that they've got these little locking ridges here so if we want to grab onto something and keep it locked in we just squeeze it a bit further and it clips over and we can hold on to whatever we want to play with there. As you can see just by keeping your eye open all these parts pretty much for free. I think I paid about five bucks for those meters, a couple of dollars for the pliers and the um, sheet metal cutters there and that's my wife coming home, it's a car backing up and I've also got a couple of boards here that I've got to strip down thanks for watching, please subscribe, leave comments